Hi guys! Today I want to show you an interesting thing. You've heard that the map distorts the real size of countries. You can't display 3D surfaces perfectly in two dimensions. Distortions always occur. Now I'll show you how much. Of course, the first country that I'll show you will be America. Look, even without Alaska, the states are much larger than Europe, even if UK remained in its composition. What about Russia? Here we need Alaska. Let's add the last feature of America, Hawaii. But it was obvious. Russia is larger than America by almost 8,000 kilometers. Have you ever confused Austria and Australia? See just how much Austria is smaller. But don't you think that the territory of Austria is visually similar to Mongolia? Let's see how many Austrias can fit into Mongolia. Freely fits 5 Austria. I don't know how this information will help you, but I hope you won't confuse Austria and Australia. The next country that interested me is Japan. Fortunately, you can't confuse it with anything, but what to compare it with? Obviously, it's smaller than the US, less than Russia. But look how it looks like Sweden. I think it'll just be a bit smaller. Although, look, Japan is even bigger. A very interesting distortion. And now I want to go back to the States again. I think it's no secret to anyone that Alaska is the largest state. But let's see just how big it is. Compare it to Greenland. Wow, Alaska is not much smaller, even if you wouldn't say so at first. Now let's move on from the largest state to the smallest, Rhode Island. You see, it's really very small. I think it makes no sense to compare it with other countries in South or North America. Let's go to Europe. I'll even zoom in on the map so you can see better. Hmm, even compared to European countries, Rhode Island is small. Look, it's even smaller than the island of Cyprus. But don't forget, Cyprus is a whole country, and Rhode Island is just one of 50 states. It's difficult to disagree that Chile has one of the most unusual shapes. Just look how long it is. It's almost the same as the width of the entire US. And look, Chile is longer than all of Europe. Incredible country. I don't envy those people whose relatives live in different parts of the country. I think a trip to visit them can take more than one weekend. And what about the neighboring country with the United States? I'm talking about Canada. Oh, Canada! <coughs> it always seemed to me that it's about the same size as the US. Even compared to Greenland, it's very large. Maybe it's even bigger than Russia? No, Russia takes up too much space. But interestingly, Canada is not much larger than China. By the way, what's about China? Let's take a look at its dimensions. In its place, it seems not so big. But if you raise it a little higher, you can see just how big it is. Another interesting thing about China is that not only its size, but also its shape changes a lot depending on where you move it. Let's put its territory on the US. Let's be honest, even though visually both countries look almost equal, China is a little bigger. From countries, I want to move on to non-man-owned territories. Yes, I'm talking about Antarctica. But what happens if you move it further? Yes, it's still larger than Australia, but it doesn't seem all that huge. If the Antarctic is moved to the territory of Africa, it will occupy less than half. We have already touched on Australia, but what can we compare with it? Let's compare Greenland. On the map, Greenland is much larger than Australia. Oddly enough, Greenland is 2,166 million square kilometers, and Australia is 7,688 million square kilometers. This is strange, because on the map everything is different. But let's move. Greenland was portrayed as a huge iceberg, but it turned out to be a small snowball. This is very strange, but I think I figured out the meaning of the cards, and I will show you it with an example. Texas. So, Texas, the second largest state after Alaska. I want to show you how its size will change with the distance from the equator. I'll place the first on the equator itself, the second I'll leave in place, the third I'll move to the territory of Canada, the fourth even further, and the fifth I will put on a par with Greenland. Now the difference is very noticeable, as the map distorts the size. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new for yourself. See you in the next videos!